All right, don't go. You have to be careful because if you go too far to the right, you get kicked out of this area and you get really mad and then you got to restart the whole fucking level all over again. This is a program body part of the Falcon Armor. The Falcon Armor will be complete. With this body part equipped, the damage will you receive will be less. But don't overestimate the power, or you'll regret it. Thanks. Dad. Thank you, Dad. Now we have access to the Falcon Armor because we have all the parts now. Let's get them. We can't. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get this one over with. So here's the Falcon armor. So what's so good about the Falcon armor? Hey guys, the four, I'm in my opinion, the four, if it didn't have this one ability, the four farmer would be better. So if you're wondering why it's showing me the dialogue again, because I beat this level of zero, not X. So when you're in this mode, you're invincible. Enemies can't oh, <laughs> enemies can't hurt you while you're in this mode. So you're you're invincible. Unfortunately, I need the Gaia armor to go that way, so we can't get the upgrade all the upgrades here until I get the Gaia armor. So here's the, what the charge shot looks like. It's, uh, very thin, but it pierces, so it can go through walls and shit. So now we gotta head up here. Careful. Don't run into the fucking spikes like a dummy. I'll give you another program for your armor. It's prototype that I created a long, long time ago. I named it the Gaia Armor. The Gaia Armor specializes in a defense ability. It will be very heavy and lacks mobility. You won't be able to use weapons still. It'll be very useful because you'll be able to walk on damage uh, damage area. With the armor equipped, you'll be able to reach places that you have never been able to before. Use the armor wisely. Alright. So, give me strength. Gaia armor! Uh... Whatever, we'll, we'll put it on in a minute. Now we gotta leave. And go back to this level again. Oh, do I not have the... Is it he... Oh, I, I probably don't have the part here. I forgot. I guess I missed this one here. That's right. Oh, that's interesting. You can't air dash with um the Falcon armor. So the armor upgrade is here. Just have to fly up over here. Yeah, there it is. X, watch out! There's a floating head trying to a bit, trying to touch you. <laughs> this is a program of the body part of the guy armor. Analyze it, upgrade your damage to the main facility. Would you have all the blah 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 with the body part equipped? The damage will you see will become west. Yeah. So like this one. Thank you, Dad. Now we have the guy armor. So, I can't air dash. I don't have any powers except the Giga attack. Oh yeah, I should have showed the Giga attack for the Falcon armor. This is it. This is you. what you got. Fast charge shot, but this is it. You're not that fucking fast. Can't air dash. You're tanky, sure. Get away. No. I'm a good boy. No virus for me. So no, I don't like the guy arm. So you gotta be careful with these blocks, because you don't want to destroy all of them to get the so you can get the you know, the peace.
But the Buster Shot is not even that fucking strong. That's another thing that's a problem with it. Like, why do they make this? If I remember, you need to get enough blocks to get over here so you can actually, uh, get to the top. Yeah. I think you only need one block, but... I might have messed this one up. I'm not really in the mood to die right now. Nah, I can't even dash into it. So let's just see if I can only rock one block. I think that what they wanted you to do is, uh, put one block at the bottom, put one block over here, and put one block on top of that block or some dumb shit, I don't fucking know. Let's just see if this works. Alright. Alright, well, there, there's the heart piece. Yeah, so it's up here. So with the guy armor, you can walk on spikes. Yep, you sure can walk on spikes, but it doesn't fucking matter if you don't have any fucking cool-ass upgrades. So it's situational. Hell! Okay. Now, now we gotta get back up there, though. So we can get that one... We can't do this as this X. We have to come back. God fucking damn it, because we don't have the power up. There. Zero. Killed by a fish. <laughs> of course they'll put a fucking spike right there, like, no. No cheating. Well, I got the heart piece. It doesn't fucking matter. All right. Uh, I got everything. There's nothing left to do but beat the game now. So we are on the good ending route, so we can't do the bad ending now. I'll have to do that on another playthrough. But um, at least now we can actually attempt to go after both the zero and the X ending. I'm going to go for the X ending first, then um, I'll do the zero ending. So yeah, that's the kind of the plan. I think because um, at a certain point, I think you get locked out of a certain ability, like I think on the third or second stage of the Sigma stages because of story. All right, look at all those parts I have. I don't have every part, but I also don't care. Because all I care about is the armor pieces, the, st the story plot point stuff, and uh, I guess the upgrades and whatever. I don't know. Like, literally, at what point did I actually use the parts? And if I did, I didn't really notice it at all. All right. 
uh, and the next session of Mega Man X5 will beat the game. And then we'll see um, if we, because, uh, oh yeah, because if I'm going to go after the bad ending, I can actually show off the, because uh, the, there is different dialogue if you go after the bad ending, because all the Mavericks do change their dialogue if you're on the bad ending route, because they're already uh, crazy Mavericks at the point. Because um, the dictate of the, the dialogue change is before the cannon shot and after the cannon shot and the bad ending should where the virus already spread, spread throughout the whole planet already. It's already really fucking bad. But for some reason, you didn't attack any of the Mavericks yet after the cannon got fired. You know, there's also one more thing I forgot to do. <laughs> because, uh, I know we we'll like, oh, yeah, we got everything. You know what I also forgot to get? <laughs> we have to go back to here because there's one more heart piece we didn't get. Uh, what do we want? What, 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 which one do we want to bring? Falcon? Oh wait, no, we gotta bring the guy armor because we gotta go through spikes. So, uh, guy armor it is, and we now we gotta go through. We gotta go through this stage again. <laughs> no, I will never be ready. Also, we can go get this fucking heart piece and actually do the fucking Sigma stages. It was actually kind of good that I replayed this stage, because I got all these lives back and whatever. So, it's right over here. There. Now we got the last heart piece. Now, you'd be like, well, Nick, if you don't like getting these, then don't get them. But there's a reason why we have to get everything. Because if you want the super secret super armor, the ultimate armor, you have to get everything. Like, you know, like the old Mega Man X games. You want the Hadouken? You gotta get everything. Now, I don't remember how all these bosses went down, so I don't know the boss order. Because I know... Well, you're gonna see it. it this is a fucking... When, they, when I said this was supposed to be the finale for the Mega Man X series, this game treats it more like it's a finale of... Mega Man in general, because this stage does not just reference, um, uh, classic X stuff, like X1, 2, and 3, whatever, like the previous X games. This does classic as well. So, um, we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna play as X first, then we're gonna do zero. We're gonna alternate between the two. But, oh man, what armor should I pick for X? Cause no, cause when I, you know, I'm gonna like, oh, just play X normally if you want to have an easier time. When you get to the Sigma stages, no, put the armors on. The, um, there, there are certain bosses in this game, uh, it might be the first one we fucking fight, are just uh, dumb. <laughs> They're just really hard, so put on armor. Uh, I know Falcon armor has like invincibility, but I don't know how much useful it will be because the charge shot's kind of whack. But then again, I guess it wouldn't matter for the boss. You know, we've been using fourth armor this whole fucking time. You know what? Fuck it. We're using Falcon. So, remember when I said this references classic Mega Man as well? If you remember a room from a classic Mega Man game that looks like this, I think you might instantly know what this room is referencing. Now, if you're not a hyper Mega Man fan, let's keep going. You you, you get what I mean. Uh, what I'm talking about. Oh? Do, do you get it now? Do you get now what this stage is referencing? You, you know what? This actually is harder because X can cling onto walls, which will slow him down. Um, there is a power-up to prevent uh, bullshit, which is this. 
So if you need this, use it. But uh, I'm going to try to use this as least amount as possible. So... Can you tell what this is yet? Can you tell? Oh yeah, this shit. Oh, the Zero Virus attacks you. But good thing I'm invincible in. For the most part. So yes, this stage is re referencing Quick Man from Mega Man 2. So uh, go fast. Eat ass, go fast. I wonder if you can live through that. Um, you being invincible like this. <laughs> I can't, I can't, if you dash, you can't do the air thing, the invincible air thing. So, so, uh, yeah. So, like I said, you could use the time power, or you could just get good and get through everything, because I know the time power, you can't use the time power to just help you throughout the whole fucking thing, because it, it's very limited. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was... <laughs> I'm surprised how well I was doing just hovering around like an asshole. Generally surprised how well I was doing just hovering around. I mean, I own zero. God damn it. I think at that point, that should be like a breather room, and you, you just do an air, like, jump instead. Cause it looks like they actually give you breather spots, like, right, right here. This is a breather spot, so you just, you know, do this. And actually hit the dash. Because I, I hit dash, and my X was like, dooper dooper doo. Like, I guess I pressed dash, like, before X hit the ground, so it didn't register me as dashing. Maybe at that point is when you need to use the time stop ability, because that's when it gets crazy. Because they give you a bunch of them right here. So if you fuck up, you can be like, well, just, just try again. Oh, shit. There was weapon energy right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. I made through it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Or are we good? Are we good, though? Are we actually... Now reminded why you need to use the weapon energy. You gotta use it for here. God damn it. But the good thing is, the game realized this part is bullshit. So they put continue spots everywhere. <laughs> so you can die as much as you want. <laughs> they're like, don't worry, fam. We know this shit's tough. <laughs> Fucking just whatever, man. Just go. Reminded that I said Mega Man X5 is not is a pretty forgiving game. Well, the PlayStation uh, Mega Man games are pretty forgiving in general. So, uh... I hope you can notice there's a fucking W in the background. If you get a good idea what's about to happen here. Okay, so, this does nothing! Um... 
So if you play classic Mega Man, you should know what the Black Devil is weak against. So this is my strategy to not get hit by the boss. You hug the wall, and then when he turns to goop, you go back to the other side, just like this. And this is this this is how you do deal with the fight. This is the fight. This is how you deal with the fight. You could go and dodge all that shit. But no. I'm just gonna hide in this corner. The black devil is um but by the way, do not get touched by the green. Because the green, I think, either insta-kills you or does lots of damage. I think there was a reason why I decided to pick X here and not zero. I mean, th this is the fight. If you know the strat, this is this is the fight. I mean, if you you know classic Mega Man, this is like one of the hardest bosses in the series. You know, the original boss. But this, I mean, if you know what to do, you, you should be fine for the most part. I, he does change up how he moves the blocks around. Like near, like when he's getting close to death. But, I mean, you know, just gotta keep make sure you're mashing. Maybe have a sub tank on you just in case you fuck up like an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god, hit <laughs> him! Oh my god. So, yeah. So, so the boss is just kind of just boring and tedious now. Just don't get hit. Don't make sure your hand does not get tired doing this shit, or that's gonna happen to you. Oh my god. And I'm <laughs> oh my god! I'm bad! I'm bad at video games! I'm so fucking bad, guys! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! You gotta deal with this longer! Imagine me dying because I'm not mashing hard enough. I don't have a lot of E-Tanks health left either, so that's a... Just don't get hit, bro. Just don't get hit. What, you're incapable of not getting hit? All you have to do is just mash X. What, you can't do that either? What do you mean? Actually, you know what? Just, 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 just do it now. <laughs> if I don't fucking live through this shit, then fuck it, that's my ass. Unfortunately, this isn't like X1 and 2, where there's like a secret room in the game where you can just refill up all your uh, your sub tanks. So you can be ready for the for the finale. If, I wonder if you still had SDC, aka you never went after Skyver. Would you be fine and do the SDC on this boss? But you, I'm pretty sure you'll only be able to do it on like the like the uh, on the feet. Oh my god, it's too high up. <laughs> oh my god, that was bullshit. Yeah, I was about to say, please don't do that other one again. That one is going to make me have to bash longer. 
Am I? Oh my god, the fight's been going on so long and the, 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 the music fucking did a full loop. And I'm getting hit. That's not good. My hands are getting fucking tired! I'm gonna die! <laughs> no! <laughs> so, um, the Falcon armor cannot air dash. <laughs> and it's very annoying that the Falcon armor cannot air dash. You could say it's severely annoying. And now you'd be like, well, Nick, just hit X twice. But it's a Mega Man X game. I'm conditioned to always hit dash in the air. To do an air dash. So, th so now we got to deal with this shit again. You know, now, you guys don't have to deal with this. We're going to speed this shit up. Chaos Control. Sorry if I was quiet at that scene. I, I just wanted just want to make sure I fucking beat it and all this bullshit. But yeah, if, if anyone who doesn't know what that's referencing, I think that's... Yeah, that's the final boss of Mega Man 6. What do I remember? It, what it turns into? But yeah, 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 yeah that was the boss. Moving on.